is up guys, welcome back to Dan Reviews, and today we're going to be doing a video review of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 13, and uh, this episode is called uh, Date of Death, so, oh man, this was, a, this was a really good one, uh, I mean, I think for this kind of show, this was a good one, this, this was a really good one. I do have one major complaint, though, and I hated this ever since the start of this stupid show. Where are our zombies? Like, we have no zombies in this entire episode. Like, not one. Uh, I, I don't see any, at least. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, but aside from that, the episode was good, though. I'd say that. So... Um, including all of that, I would give this episode probably, I would actually give it a high score. I'm going to give this one a 9.8. This is a good one. And I think definitely when it comes to, uh, Fear the Walking Dead episodes, yeah, this, this one was good. Now, uh, before we get into the review, I want to say I'm sorry I missed, like, days and days of videos. Uh, like, three or four or five days. Like, I think it was even, was it like four or five? I think it was like even like five, I think. So, something like that. I, I I don't remember being on YouTube for a good few days, but the main reason why is because I was sick, man, and uh, not not stomach flu, but you know, you know the regular sick, and um, yeah, it's it's still there. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but yeah, stupid thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just I I was sick for the last couple of days. I did still watch it on Sunday. I just uh, I like Monday. Yesterday, I'm like, ugh, I don't know, you know, so, yeah, and, um, I, uh, yeah, today was still, I, I, was, I was still sick today, um, I, I still went to school, but, uh, yeah, it was, man, I was sick like crazy, I'm not even lying, so, um, okay, uh, moving on here, so, first, uh, kind of thing in this episode for me is the beginning. I think this is uh, awesome. This this is an amazing beginning. You have uh, Travis, and uh, this this is kind of a current time more. He comes up to the walls. Everybody's at the walls. Let us in. You know, I, I can help you. You know, uh, I can defend your camp. I can defend your group. All that stuff. And Travis is kind of like, excuse me, excuse me, walking through. And he goes to the gates and he sees Madison. And he's like, Maddie, you know. And uh, she uh, she she lets it drop with a slip because she actually is able to let him in. Uh, she opens the gate slightly so he can kind of squeeze through. Uh, I was kind of worried that the whole, like, the whole, like, the whole gang of people were going to start holding the gate and start pulling it open, and then they'd all come flying out of there. And, you know, like, I just, I, I was kind of worried that that would have been what they would have done, but it actually wasn't. Um, so, yeah, uh, now, after this, you get kind of the, I think it's, yeah, when you have uh, kind of the whole thing with Travis and Chris, uh, you know, after he shoots the guy and things like that, after episode 10 and things like that. So, um, I like it because they actually stay, like, I actually, in the preview, it, like, because when he was driving away, I knew this weeks ago because I was looking at the Comic-Con trailer for the second half and I was like, oh, there's still a few scenes that are left that we haven't seen yet. And one of them was Chris, you know, leaving Travis behind the, the truck or whatever. Um, and kind of looking back, you know, um. And that right there, I gotta say, that was really good because um, I actually didn't know, uh, like, if he was gonna leave him, like, a couple minutes after he shot the guy, like, literally just, like, like shoots the guy and then gets mad at him and leaves. Like, that, that I thought that was gonna be the, the whole story behind that. But it actually was more drawn out than I thought it would be. Um, because uh, what ended up happening or happening is that I actually ended up seeing that when he shot the guy, then the other guys shot another one of their guys. Like there was like three or four guys that were with Chris, like kind of that that gang of guys there that took off in the truck um, that found Chris and Travis originally in episode ten, uh, right? That uh, Chris is kind of bonding with them way more than he is with Travis, obviously, and it means he's kind of bad like them, right? And I like it because they just shoot one of their own guys. 
and uh, unbelievable. And Chris doesn't even care. Uh, he's just he doesn't care. So, and they actually end up killing him afterwards. Uh, but like I'm, I'm I like the part where um, also at night. Uh, this is like one of the next scenes afterwards where uh, he like he he's talking to Chris and he's like you know like take a look at yourself. You know you don't even. Uh, you know, you, can you at least lose your appetite, and can you at least, you know, take a look at yourself, you're sweating, and, you know, and he just, like, knocks the can out of his hand, uh, and he, he's, like, you know, kind of looks at him like, I'm serious, you know, um, and he's just like, Dad, you remember when the guys, uh, you know, uh, at baseball, or, you know, whatever sport, soccer was it, and he's, like, uh, making fun of me, and he's, like, um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, and he's, like, well, uh, yeah, of course, but that's different. I told you to, to you know, kind of follow along and not be like them. And he's just like, yeah, well, that was then and this is now, you know. And actually, this is the one thing I will say. He is right to a certain extent because it is, that was that world, this is this world. But it's still like, oh, I, I still don't understand why you would go against your own personal father for these guys who are like absolutely crazy people and that would do anything for them own like for their from them personal selves uh they they care way more about themselves than even Travis would care about Chris I'm sure Travis would take a bullet for Chris that's pretty obvious so um just crazy man and then um also one of the guys tells uh Travis uh, you, you know, you, you can't kill us, you know, uh, you know, you'll never get to us. Um, and then the next day, Chris acts like he's fine. He goes in the barn and says, hey, dad, you know, kind of acts like he's cool. Uh, you know, he's like, let me check you. Even Travis doesn't trust him, right? Uh, he knows his son when he's up to something. And he was right. Uh, because even though he had nothing on him, no weapons or nothing, he literally, Chris tried to choke him, uh, choke him out, right? And that's when the guys came in, shot the guys. So, because Travis was trying to protect the guy, he was like, no, we can't kill him. And they did get away with it, unfortunately. And then, there they go packing their stuff. They're, they're getting ready, they're leaving. Uh, and Travis begs them not to do it. And he says, you know, like, you, you know, like, he's like, I promised your mother I'd take care of you. And he's like, yeah, well, yeah, by letting me go. That does not make any sense. <laughs> that does not make any sense at all. And I don't like Chris. I never did. And I'm just like, or at least liking him more. Uh, like, I've just, ugh, I hate his character. Uh, he gets worse for me. Like, every episode that I see him in, I'm just like, oh, he does something even worse. He does something even worse. He does something even worse. You know? And he just gets worse. And this episode pretty much proves that. Uh, and he drives away with the, uh, the other two guys. So, dude... <laughs> This, this is crazy, and uh, yeah, he drives away, man, leaves Travis in the old firm out there by himself, like seriously, and he doesn't even care what Travis will do, he doesn't care if he'll starve to death, he doesn't care if he stays there and grows on, you know, God knows what, and uh, all that stuff, he doesn't care, he doesn't care if Travis ends up being 60 years old, still being and living on that farm. You know, a uh, big beard out to here, old hair out of here. He doesn't care what he does, you know, starving, whatever, mere death. He doesn't care. Uh, Chris does not care because uh, he will never see him again, uh, at least according to Chris. Um, but, yeah, they drive away, man. And I'm just, um, so, um, also, you had Travis. He was uh, digging the graves, and I kind of like that because he's like, what date is it? And Chris is like, doesn't matter, you know, anymore. Uh, I kind of lost track, you know, uh, things like that. So that was also cool as well. Uh, maybe Travis still kind of trying to keep hope. So, uh, yeah, then tr Travis, that's kind of how he finds the motel because of the lights. And that's kind of what, or hotel or whatever. Um, and, you know, that's kind of how that works out. So um, definitely uh, really, really cool how this goes. Uh, now let's talk about some of the recent stuff. So uh, you do have Travis who does uh, talk to Madison, and he's like, I had no choice. And at first, I was like, because this is the scene before Chris left. And he said, when he said, I had no choice, I thought to myself, you know, and I'm sure a lot of you guys did too, 
did Chris leave him or did Travis have to, you know, put him down? And that's one of the things that I think is definitely going to spill over into the end of this season. Will we have to see Travis kill Chris? Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, that debate has been up for, like, a long time now. Uh, ever since probably, I want to say, um, the beginning of this half, people have been talking about it. Do you think it's a possibility? I gotta say, man, it really does seem, if, if, you know, because at the end of the episode, the guys are at the gates. If Chris is, which, by the way, I didn't see Chris at the gates, so I'm gonna have to watch that again, because I've only seen the episode once, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, check that out. But still. So that's the end right there. And all this stuff with Madison kind of trying to talk to him and everything like that. And uh, oh, also you had the scene with Madison saying that, then uh, this was very big, where her father uh, or her husband, Alicia's father, uh, you know, he didn't die uh, by a car accident. He actually put himself down. So that was also pretty huge. But uh, the, the last kind of thing I wanted to say is, uh, is that, yeah, I, I do think that this season we're going to have a dark, dark ending to it. And this weekend is the last two episodes. They're playing them both at the same night. And I'm super pumped. Like, I'm really, really pumped. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a double finale. Really, really excited. Um, I feel like they're doing it for a reason. Uh, I feel like it's not just because it, they give us a couple weeks before Walking Dead starts to get us more in the Walking Dead zone. I know, I, I feel like they're doing this for a reason. Uh, yeah, I feel like something's coming. So, yeah, we should even do a video this week talking about will, uh, you know, will, will, just like the events I said, will Travis have to kill Chris? Uh, I honestly would not be surprised at this point. So, yeah, uh, yeah if you guys uh, liked the video... Uh, thumb it up if you wouldn't mind, and uh, also, let me know what you guys think about this new setup, too. I have, uh, like, because I like to change background sometimes. I like to kind of change the new layout and things like that, and, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys really, really soon, and uh, whenever I do the predictions videos and tons of videos coming up this week leading up to the finale of Fear the Walking Dead, and then a few more weeks, and we got the Walking Dead premiere. So yeah, if you guys, uh, yeah, if you guys liked it and everything like that, please share and everything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.